record on the Mountain Fever label. We've had a couple that have went to airplay and hopefully that one will be one of the next ones to go. And it's available uh, right now on any digital uh, streaming that devices or not devices, I guess you could say outlets that you uh, would like to stream live music or download recorded music. But we are tickled to death to be back here in Floyd and to see the live faces. Yay! We've been uh, doing some fun stuff today. Uh, we were doing a project for the NCTA. They wanted me to, to make biscuits and um, to film it. And they wanted my recipe. Well, I'm not a person that really cooks by recipe, so... Um, I told Mama, I said, how in the devil are we going to, I mean, I don't measure anything. I just, I just fix it. So uh, we cheated and come up with uh, something so that the, the kids would maybe be able to follow along. But we had a good time and uh, got to pick and grin a little bit. 
Hopefully the schools will pick that up and use it for educational purposes. Can you, can you see um, some of the people uh, out west trying to listen to a hillbilly tell them how to cook? <laughs> the biscuits didn't last long either. Well, <laughs> we had a good time, and uh, we hope you all um, have a good time here tonight. Like I said, we're really glad to be back here in Floyd, and uh, we really appreciate all that Dylan has done to keep this going, you know, during COVID and everything. He worked really hard you know, putting it, uh, streaming live music for people to listen to, and it's just good to have butts in seats tonight. So um, we'll let uh, Mr. McLaughlin over here. How many of you all know who this fellow is? <laughs> That's three people. Okay. So if you Before haven't... Before the show's over tonight, at least six people will That's know. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Maybe they'll remember. He used to play with the Johnson Mountain Boys for many, many years ago, <clears throat> Grammy award-winning uh, instrumentalist. Not award-winning. Well, nominated. nominated. We were, not, we were, but in, the, he's we were in, in the top 1,500 you were in the finalists. top 1,500 <laughs> finalists. But he did get inducted into uh, the Hall of Fame. So for the Bluegrass Hall of Fame for the Johnson Mountain Boys, Mr. David McLaughlin. Thank you. I guess uh, it's time for me to play a, a, a tune called the Murray River Blues. And I'd like to send this out to two very special friends of mine, Joyce and Herschel Sizemore. Great friends, I've known for a long time, and uh, I was just telling Herschel that uh, when I was, I, w I was born in 1958, he was already a famous mandolin player. When I was a kid in the 1960s, my parents would take me everywhere they could to see Herschel play, and uh, he was one of my favorite players because he did not play the mandolin like anybody else. He, he played like a fiddle, only super clean. He was like the first person I ever heard play super clean and I wanted to play fiddle or mandolin or anything just as well as Herschel could play and uh, if I'd known when I was seven years old that that when I was a grown-up I'd be playing on the stage and Herschel would be sitting out there watching me I never would have believed it because uh, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway uh, great friends I, I love you both and this is for you the Mar River Blues <laughs>
mighty fine. Not only uh, he's a, a great instrumentalist, a great songwriter, and then he's going to do you another one of his original compositions here. One that many, many people have recorded, including Springville Exit. And, uh, yes, it's amazing. At least 25 bands have actually recorded this. It's all over YouTube. And I have earned to this day uh, $48 in, in uh, royalties. <laughs> yes! You did good. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the money. <laughs> Going back to old Virginia. So right. I'm always looking for something that I can take and change around and make it uh, a female version of a tune. So we did this one with this song that um, we put on the new record. And uh, hope you like this one. It's in one entitled Imagine That. Someone to talk to, someone 
got the brambles, briars, and me. In the key of E, boys. <laughs> I'll be like uh, Mac Wiseman. You know, if you ever seen him, he always, um, he didn't hardly ever carry a band with him. He would just pick up whoever was there, and he'd get started, and he'd look at them, and he'd say, follow me, boys, and off he'd go. So <laughs> I won't give him, I'll give him a little more warning than that. I won't do that to him, uh, not on purpose. But we're going to do you a song that there are very few songs in bluegrass where the women are doing the killing. <laughs> Most all the time, it's it's the men, you know. It's all, it's the way it's written. So, a good friend of ours uh, from down in Churchill wrote this tune, and when when I asked him about doing it, I said, "Do you think we could change it around to where a female is actually doing the killing?" He said, "I don't know if that would work." So, David over here took uh, the bulls by the horns and tweaked the words just a little bit and it worked out perfect. So you have to listen real close to the words on this one. This is one entitled The Brambles, Briars, and Me. One, two, up here tonight just I'm just tickled to death to uh, get to uh, sing with him standing behind me make welcome mr. red Voker so how many of you all uh, know who who Bill Kirchin is that did uh, hot rod Lincoln and he played the electric guitar so Bill and red were doing a show in um, at the down home and, and I got to get up and sing a few with them so I was just tickled to death which Bill Kirchin and I did um, he played on 
the Cracker Barrel record that we put out many moons ago, and then I sang with him on his. And I think one of the best cuts, if you can look, you can look it up on Facebook, if you look up Bill Kirchin, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, that the Kendall's done many years ago. We recut that, and that was just so much fun. So it's really good to have Red up here tonight, and uh, too bad Bill Kirchin ain't here too. We could really go crazy. Which one is it? He's going to kick it off. That's fine. Merle's Careful. 
them pick one here for you. I'm going to the back of the bus, boys. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Uh, I love coming through. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, you pick one, sing one? Just do one in the higher guitar. Dude, that's what I love, guys. Been most all my life searching for that four leaf clover. Yet you run with me, chasing my rainbow. And honey, I love you too. That's the way love goes. That's the way love. That's the music that God made For all the world to sing It's never old, it only grows Losing makes me sorry And you say, don't worry But you know I love you too that's the way love It's a hard way of living and it's a hard way of life. It's a hard way uh, to uh, make money. You know, it's either too wet or it's too dry. And you get everything planted and you get flooded out. Or you get everything planted and you don't get no rain. So I was coming home from work many moons ago 
and headed back down to Rogersville. And I can't tell you how many times that David had already replanted his crops and it flooded from the creek, creek bottom flooded it out. And I was listening to this song on the way home and I cried all the way to the house. And I couldn't hardly tell David about the tune because it just touched me so. So we ended up recording this tune. It, um, it's a Merle Haggard tune and Max Barnes uh, wrote this. Um, and um, it's entitled, In My Next Life. Turn 
I'll do one more and we'll take a short break because fat girls need ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ever since uh, I was a little girl, uh, we always had ice cream at nighttime. Now, my daddy could put away some ice cream. Of course, he had a 48-inch waist, you know, up until the time he got sick. But uh, we could go buy two gallons a half, of uh, two gallons, you know. Wasn't enough. I mean, that might make two milkshakes, you know, because he liked a big milkshake with it really good and thick. So, uh... We still eat a lot of ice cream, at least I do. So just be sure to uh, everybody bombard them as we take a break. <laughs> but just wait till I get there first. <laughs> All right, we'll do you one entitled Darkness on the Delta.
when it's darkness on the delta let me linger in the shelter of